Mathieu, yes. thanks for joining us. Good to be back. Yeah, yeah um, I miss the boys a bit. I miss, uh, I miss having uh, everyone around, joking around, and uh, of course uh, we, we miss the ball, so um, we touched it a bit today, so it's nice, nice to come back. How do you feel? You're in good shape? Yeah, yeah, I think already we haven't stopped a um, long time because we finished quite late the season with the final, etc. So, um, well, we always like, I think everyone came back in a good shape, quite professional, and uh, everyone went for uh, some run and activity, so uh, I think we will be, uh, everyone is in quite a good shape. What's the spirit of the lads like today? I've not seen each other for a while. Is it, is it a bit lower after the way the season ended, or is everyone back up to it? Yeah, really, I think it's even a bit be more because everyone is very excited to come back and to see to see everyone so um, no I think it's just like yeah nothing has changed and uh, we 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 are back uh, we are back uh, the same thing. What are your ambitions for this season coming up? Um, I think with the season we had last year and the way that like, we finished like people say that like, final is good when only when you win it but in my mind that uh, not really. I enjoyed. I enjoyed every bit of it. I enjoyed the semi-finals. I enjoyed having the the good the games at the top last season, and all these feelings. I want to have them back. So um, I think it can only push you to, to to want to play some games like this again. So you want to work hard and come back at the top as soon as possible. Obviously, it was heartbreak for everyone at Wembley and yourself, obviously, in the shootout. Do you think, what effect has that had on you? Has that made you stronger or is it still on your mind? Or? Yeah, like I say, like, I think it made me stronger because I was so close to get like, where I want to be. And no, I'm not, so I just want to work harder to come back, to, to go there, because that's where I want to be. That's where I always want to be since, since I came to England. And that, so I'm going to work hard. I know, I think we're sure we're good enough. I'm sure that, and uh, so, but I want to be even stronger and to not, not have to go to, to penalties again and just do it because we're the best. One of the key things about last season, looking back, was the togetherness of the squad. And, and the good thing is, if we're being positive, there's a lot of those same places here today, isn't there? Yeah, I think um, obviously, like when you have a good season, everyone talk about they're gonna we're gonna lose some players, but at the moment. Um, a lot of the people are still here, so uh, that's a good stuff, and we can build on that. And, uh, and I think if we, the, the, and probably the, the, the coaches, looking, the gaffers, looking for um, some new faces to add uh, to the squad, then uh, hopefully we will push and, and do better this season. The togetherness of the players, also the togetherness of the players and the Orient supporters last season. They just got better and better as the year went on, culminated in the Wembley trip and. You're going to need them Shot, again, aren't you? This interview, you're so busy. Shot. Look at this. Only man. fans to say yes because you, Frenchie. Just you, Frenchie. Just need to do it for the lads, innit? No, you're <laughs> not going to do it for the boys. You're not producing. <laughs> yeah, no. I think I think the band, like um, during the season, if you see the just the crowd at the stadium, like just grow and grow like, all the season, and Wembley was uh, amazing. So um, I think. It, I hope like we got like a bond and uh, the, this, these people who came last season is gonna, gonna stick with us um, for this season because we're gonna probably have good time but we're gonna have like probably bad time as well. So um, we need uh, these people that have been there when in good time to, to, to stay with us and to, to, to push in the same direction. And uh, talking about new starts and, and everything else, a new beginning. First of all, on the pitch, you're gonna have a new goalkeeper behind you this season. What yeah. was your first impression of him? So that's a big man. <laughs> he's a big man. So uh, well, that's a big advantage already for a goalkeeper. He's got he's got some presence in him, some charisma. So uh, we haven't seen him yes I haven't had the chance to chip him still. But um now he looks like he looks like a good lad we had the talk and I think he's gonna he's gonna fit right in the, in the squad and then he go to the same direction. And that's the key, isn't it? Last season did give us a glimpse that this club can challenge and, and can progress to, to bigger things. And now it's a case of really trying to realise that dream. Yeah, I think um, I think on the pitch that like, we we sure that like, um, we we are good enough to go there. Well, maybe not because we we missed out. But um, I think during the season we show, um, yeah, 
Lil in that might be in the championship like. So if we confirm this season and we've got the backup with a new with a new staff at the back, like I think I think we could we could do it and it would be amazing to do it for everyone.